Presenter number two, uh, we have Sri Charan Vituri. So from the Mechanical Engineering Department of Engineering and Supply, Applied Scientists, Sri Charan has the unique ability to speak five different languages. What's more unique is he's watched Batman Dark Knight 72 times. <laughs> I don't know how you found time to write this between watching all the Batman, but I'm looking forward to hearing it. His topic, non-invasive imaging biomarkers for risk stratification of brain aneurysms. If you're ready, ready, set, pitch. Did you know that one in 50 people in the United States alone has a brain aneurysm? A brain aneurysm is a balloon-like structure that's formed in the vessels of your brain. And like a balloon, this can eventually grow and explode or rupture, which can cause permanent disability or even death. However, only three to 5% of these ever actually rupture, suggesting that if you were to treat all the aneurysms that come your way, you'll probably do more harm than good because the treatment procedure itself has risks too. Currently, the doctors decide which aneurysms to treat primarily based on the size of the aneurysm, assuming that like a balloon, the larger aneurysms are going to rupture soon. But studies have shown that more than 20% of all the aneurysms that do rupture are in fact small aneurysms. Hence, the size alone is not enough. You need something a bit more concrete to help the doctors decide which aneurysms they want to treat. Recently, a phenomenon called vessel wall enhancement has emerged as a potential solution to this problem. Vessel wall enhancement is a phenomenon wherein the doctors inject dye or contrast into your brain vessels. And this contrast is picked up by different parts of your brain vasculature in different proportions. This actually signifies which aneurysms are actually growing or which remain relatively stable. This, however, is currently viewed on mere 2D slices, suggesting that it's very difficult to understand this phenomenon. And doctors kind of find it hard to like, ac agree with each other on wh what's happening there. Imagine you're a pilot and you're looking at the 2D map of the world. Although all the information about the countries and oceans is present, it's not until you look at the 3D globe that you get a really good understanding of the curvature of the Earth and the best way to get from location A to location B. My thesis focuses on taking the information stored in these 2D MRI scans and transforming it into 3D vessel structures as shown in the figure over here. Additionally, we also provide a heat map or a color-coded map which signifies how much of this contrast is absorbed by different parts of the cerebral vasculature. Additionally, this is also a 3D structure which gives additional insight and understanding into this phenomenon in 3D space to the doctors, helping them agree with each other a bit more. But that's not all. I also use pattern recognition to look at this distribution and provide insight into whether it's a high-risk aneurysm or a low-risk aneurysm, thus helping the doctors a bit more in their decision. Ultimately, the goal of my project is to help doctors provided with a tool which can be used as a bedside tool, which they can use readily to make immediate and informed decisions and help save lives across the globe. Thank you.